Hello, my name is Matt Crump. I'm going to be your instructor for Cognitive Psychology. That's Psych 2530 uh, this fall. That's fall 2023. And in this video, I just want to uh, give you a little tour of how we're going to be using Blackboard for this course. And if you're already familiar with Blackboard, you know, this was probably going to be old news. But uh, it could be helpful for understanding how we're going to use, how we're going to work through this course in the asynchronous format. So let me go ahead and share my screen here. We've logged on to Blackboard for this course. I'm in a student preview mode. So hopefully this is what you would see. There's no course announcements yet. We're in the course announcements section. I'm going to be sending out course announcements on a weekly basis for this course. Make sure that your email is working with Blackboard in order to get these announcements. Uh, so the first announcement that you're going to see is probably a link to this video. The link here for contact has my email and uh, office at Brooklyn College. If you're going to email me about something in this course, please make sure you put Psych 2530 in the subject line. We also have some links to the syllabus for the course. You can click it right here and it will take you to the syllabus. And the syllabus is located on an external website for this course, which you also find here. So if I was to click this, let's see what happens. Uh, all right, we've jumped over to the website for the course where you can find the syllabus, the textbook, which is a free open educational resource for you. You don't have to pay for anything in terms of uh, your textbook or materials for the class. There's weekly learning modules, and uh, each of those are listed here. The first thing that you'll do is do the Getting Started module. We'll talk about that in a second. There's also links to all the different slide decks that I have for the class and, and other things. So check out the course website when you get a chance to do that. Um, most of the course is going to run uh, using in terms of learning modules that occur on a weekly basis. So if you click the learning modules link, right now there's only two in here. There's going to be 13 total across the semester. The very first thing you should do to get started with the class, like let's say this is Friday, August 25th. That's the very first day of class. You might be logging on here and figuring out what am I supposed to do with this? So go to L0, that's Learning Module 0, Getting Started. This one is due uh, Tuesday, August 29th. Uh, it doesn't take very long. It's just going to help you get a course orientation. Click this thing, follow the instructions, uh, and uh, once you're finished with the Getting Started Learning Module, you can continue with Learning Module 1. And uh, that'll be due next, the Tuesday following, which is Tuesday, September 5th. So you can get started on these things right away. And every week I'll be releasing another learning module that we'll be doing uh, throughout the semester. If I am able to, I will try to release future learning modules with uh, in advance so you can work ahead if you'd like to do that. Most of the assignments for this class are contained within the learning modules. So for example, I mean, let's just take a look at how a learning module would go. For learning module one, uh, you're going to see a instruction to head over to the course website, complete the readings, watch the mini lectures, and choose which assignments to complete. Um, you know what, I might be getting ahead of myself. Why don't we just quickly look at the getting started learning module, uh, my mistake. So click that. It's asking us to go to the course website and uh, read the syllabus, watch the introductory video. Those are, that's the first step. So if we did that, we could go over to the course website by clicking this link. And we would see there's a link to read the syllabus. So go ahead and review that syllabus. There's a link to watch an orientation that's about 20 minutes long that gives you a, 
idea of how this course is going to go. And then there's an engage section that says, hey, go ahead and take a getting started quiz and complete a short introduction post assignment. I have to do that part on Blackboard. So we go uh, back to Blackboard. And if you click forward in the learning module, you will see the getting started quiz. And I think all you have to do here is click this button to launch it. And there's, I don't know, eight questions. Taking this quiz is uh, a kind of fun way to, I mean, fun way to uh, learn more about aspects of the course. It's uh, worth 2.5 points. You can take it as many times as you want. Once you're done with that, there is an optional assignment to go ahead and introduce yourself to the class. So it's asking you to head over to the discussion board section, find the introduce yourself forum and introduce yourself. There's um, 120 students in the class or possibly more depending on, I think it might go up to 130. And uh, this is a chance to get the conversation going. So for example, go to the discussion board section and you'll see there's a few different discussion board options. Uh, to do this part of the assignment, you would just click on the Introduce Yourself forum. And there's no threads here. Uh, your job is to make a new thread and introduce yourself. If you haven't done this before on Blackboard, here's how it would work. Go and click Create Thread. The subject line could be, uh, hello. My name is Matt Crum. I'm the instructor, uh, or whatever you want to say. And then how about a little message to introduce yourself by this pre-typed, uh, I'm a cognitive psychologist. I run a cognition research lab at Brooklyn College. I like to eat good food, and so do my two cats. Looking forward to a great semester. So I could go ahead and submit this on there, and um, other people should be able to see this. And other people will be able to see your post as well. And feel free to reply to other students and say hi. All right, if you did all those things, reviewed the syllabus, took the quiz, introduced yourself, you'd have some idea of how this course is going to go and you'd be ready to move on to the next learning module. So let's say we're in that position. I don't know, maybe it's Friday, October, or August 25th, and you're done with getting started. You want to, you want to you know, start learning module one, go for it. Click here, we're on learning module one. And just as an overview, it's going to send you to the course website. And then it's going to uh, do, do these things uh, that is complete the readings, watch the mini lectures, and then choose which assignments to complete. So if we were to jump over to the website, you can see there's a link to do some reading. So this link here takes you to the first chapter in the textbook. And then you can read through that uh, to give you an overview of cognitive psychology. As a supplemental way to learn about these things, I have mini lectures that you can watch. So every learning module has this read section and a watch listed section as different ways to engage with material in cognitive psychology. At the end, there's also ways for you to do something that is um, usually in the form of a quiz or a writing assignment. So this one is saying, okay, you've read the chapter, you've watched the video, go ahead and complete the quiz if you'd like to do that for 2.5 points. If uh, you could also uh, complete either of these writing assignments and writing assignments in this course are worth five points each. Uh, and in order to do that, you would go back to Blackboard here, or where am I? There it is. And uh, for example, you want to take that quiz, you'd have to scroll forward inside the learning module that we're on and take the quiz. Again, remember, if you wanted to find this, we're in learning module one, and you can just see the table of contents there, take the quiz. You can take quizzes as many times as you want, as I mentioned before, and that's no different here. There's 10 questions that are randomly selected every time. If you would like to do one of the writing assignments, 
then click on one of those assignments, read about it, do your assignment, and upload your assignment in this section. In this course, you can um, you have choices on which assignments you want to do. So uh, you could do one of them or both of them. It's up to you. And uh, what else do we have here? I'll just point out now, I'll make announcements about this throughout the course. Um, there are also assignments you can complete for points towards your final grade that are not affiliated with specific learning modules. These are called general assignments. And uh, yeah, I'll make another post about general assignments later to explain them. But basically, there's just more assignment options for you. One of my goals for this course is to create lots of different fun things that you might want to do. And you know, different people will find different things interesting. So different students will do different assignments. And if you're doing assignments that you find interesting, isn't that great? I think that would be, you know, you should look around and see what's possible. And some of the assignments are for you to basically create your own assignment to do what you want and, and make a good reason why this should count towards points in this course, like the choose your own adventure assignment here. And I'll add a, a few more throughout the semester. Discussion boards are another way to get points towards your grade. Uh, right now we have the general discussion board and you can read through this and how that works to get points towards your grade. If you have questions about how this course works, you want to clarify something that's not, you know, it's not making sense, feel free to go to the ask questions about the course forum. Just create a thread in here, ask your question, and I'll try to respond as soon as I can. It'd be really helpful if you ask most of your questions in this space so that other students can read the answers. Uh, for all of your assignments, that includes, uh, includes the quizzes and, and yeah, writing assignments and assessments. The points that you get for each of those things should re be reflected in this My Grades area. And that can also kind of give you a sense of what you have completed and haven't completed throughout the course. So that's a quick overview of the Blackboard system. And uh, I'll leave it here for now. Uh, I'm really looking forward to the semester. And um, yeah, feel free to uh, email me if you have a few other questions, but also use that discussion board forum uh, to ask those questions. That's it for now. Try to got to learn how to uh, stop the Zoom at the end here. I think I'm getting close. I'm going to stop now. Bye.